Hey, what's up? It's Jay Lucky Henry, and today we're going to talk about what exactly you should be doing to landscape your yard to make a great first impression for new buyers. Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R E A L, real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds. Give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So we're talking about landscaping because this is the series where I'm trying to explain so what are some of the things that make a first impression on the buyer and what are some of the things you can do so that that first impression is a great first impression. So landscaping, of course, this is only applicable if you have a yard. Well, yes and no, because I'm gonna go ahead and throw in touching up the outside of the home as landscaping just in case you guys don't have necessarily a yard. So. We're talking about curb appeal. That's a better word to put it. It encompasses everything. Curb appeal. If you got a, if you have a lawn out front, you want it manicured. You want clear lines of where the lot, your property line ends and where your neighbor's property line begins. If there's a fence, clearly that separates it. You should definitely weed whack along the fence. That's the machine that yin yin spins and you hit the weeds, whack the weeds off, right? Definitely get a nice clean trim so that when people pull up to the home, or they see, oh, it looks inviting, looks appealing. I made the mistake once when I was a young agent and I put a house on the market before we had grass down. So it was a beautiful house, which is brown, like kind of dirt. And the pictures were bad. Like it's just, that's what it was, they were bad. And I was young, eager, and I just, you know, wanted to get that listing out and didn't take the time for these little things that are the first impressions that you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So it affected us, right? It affected the sale of that property. Um, and it's a mistake that I've learned from. And it's a, something that now when I'm listing property, I say, hey, look, we have to take care of these things. If we don't take care of these things here, the market will take care of them for us in the price they're willing to offer. It's just a fact. So doing the bare minimum is good. Going above and beyond is better. Now I encourage sellers to do things like put some flowers in the yard, right? Doesn't matter if you never lived there with flowers, put some nice little neutral colored flowers in the yard to kind of brighten up the atmosphere. Give it that strong curb appeal. Maybe in the back, if you have room, section off room for a garden. Even if you don't plan on actually gardening while you're there, showcase what could be there. It's literally a couple pieces of wood, a little bit of mesh, and boom, you have a garden. Simple, cool tricks. Like this is actually another thing we did one time is we actually helped put a fireplace in the yard. Right, get a couple of pavers, made a little circle, and drop the fireplace. They had the fireplace at their mom's house, so it was easy to bring over and put there. So all these little creative ideas to give your yard more curb appeal, give the landscape in that nice soft feel, makes it more inviting. These are just some tips. Feel free to add your own. Comment below if you guys have some cool ideas on how to landscape. And for those of you without yards and saying, hey, I don't have green grass, right? Maybe you just have gravel or pavement or cement. Again, define clear boundary lines and make sure that outside of the house, steps, side paneling, the vinyl on the side or whatever you have for paneling outside. Make sure it's all scrubbed, clean, front of the roof is wiped off, no dead branches on it. All of that is curb appeal and all of that can be considered landscaping or scaping the land, the atmosphere you're looking at. All right. It's been Jay Lucky Henry. I am Jay Lucky Henry. It's been real. It's been 90. Gotta go. See you tomorrow with another video. And I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.